and welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And we're on the cusp of bringing you live action from one of the most exciting leagues in Europe, the Championship. It's Preston North End up against West Bromwich Albion. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Can he play it in? It's a perfect challenge. And the referee has given it. It will be a penalty. Can they forge ahead? Well, some might say he's been fortunate to avoid... A goal! Accurate from the spot! And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Parrot. Brown. Really good interception. Jason Malambi. Now they're on the scent of something positive. In position. And doing all he can to grab his second of the game. Well, he's been a real live wire today. A constant threat to this back line. But he's gone short with it. Not increasing the pressure. Another corner it is. Let's see about the delivery. Well, full marks to him for that header, but the goalkeeper did his job. Now a short corner here. Terrific piece of anticipation. A move of promise on the flank. blocked counter-attacking very much an option they need to get bodies back and threading it forward Townsend and the cross into the middle now the attack fizzled out under real pressure here oh it might be the save was a good one And a short corner, let's see. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Well, he got the touch on the ball, and so a corner it'll be. Playing it short. Dangerous ball. Well, the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all, the natural fact. Parrot. This looks promising out wide. And the keeper had the measure of it. And there's the delivery. Disappointing delivery sailing over everyone in the middle. That's very effective, good, high pressing. Perfect challenge. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. And so it is, the first half story. So back underway here, into the second half. A sloppy pass. Dangerous looking attack. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. This looks more than decent. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. And there it is! A 
two-goal cushion now, and they just need to keep the concentration. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent. They just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Cross into the penalty area. That really would have changed the equation had it gone in, Stuart. Well, he needed to score there. That may just have given them some hope. Okai Yokushru. And that puts them in position. Must be. Well, he didn't miss by an awful lot. Here it is now, a substitution. Number 14, Jason Malumi. To be replaced by number 8, Jake Livermore. And a free kick awarded by the referee. Twenty minutes remaining. Story. How well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. So the final whistle almost upon us, and this is not exactly what the home fans had in mind when they arrived at the ground today, Stuart. Well, there are two main reasons why they're losing this game. Firstly, they've not shown enough desire to close the opposition down. And secondly, they haven't defended their box well enough. It's been a poor defensive display. And he's gone into an illegal position, unfortunately. A room to roam on the wing. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Well, visionary passing. Options in the centre. And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Robbie Brady. Oh, the threat is there. Has a go. Well, it's a wild attempt. He needed something better. Offside, however. Well, you're right. He didn't know it was going to be offside, and that was a shocking miss. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Not the pass he had in mind. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them.